I'm gonna take a bite. Welcome back boys and girls, Bob Grows here. Just gonna give you a little update on how the flood and drain system is doing. The flood and drain system is absolutely incredible. I've been using it for propagation. I've been doing a lot of propagation in here lately and you know, still production, right? Look at all these peppers. This is my little bonsai, right? My bonsai chili, ahi pineapple here, ahi pineapple here. And this one, I don't know what it is. It's got nice big leaves. Uh, this can be a bell pepper or a super hot. I know super hots have pretty big leaves, but we have some buds coming out, so we should be finding out shortly. But look at that production. Peppers galore. Here you can see the dragon fruit. It's <laughs> growing awfully well. This is having like tons of shoots on it. I'm gonna leave it here. I, I've never heard of any hydroponic dragon fruit. So I'm just gonna let it hang out here. You can see it's getting kind of long hanging over the side. I think it looks cool. Kind of makes it a little dangerous to harvest the peppers, but that's just all part of the fun. Here in the back, look at this, look at this pepper. This guy is a, is a monster. And he's got a little brother growing in the back too. These are not, I don't think these are bell peppers. These could be really anything. <laughs> Again, I don't know half the stuff that's growing in here, but this is a, a beautiful, massive pepper. Back here, I know what these are. These are ahi cachucha. They're a little different than the ones over there. These will be uh, coming out a little purple. Further back, you see a cutting of a papaya and it's growing into its own tree. So yes, you can propagate papaya just like that. Back here, we have some kind of sad looking uh, tomato that have been in there for a while now. They got this deficiency looking thing going on, but it seems like it's been doing that for a while. I'm not sure if it's a, a virus, but I leave it there and I propagate cuttings off of there. Just take a little snip, whoom, and place them into the uh, bigger systems. Here you can see more ahikachucha, like the other style. Um, these I'm probably going to give away. So if anybody wants them, let me know below. Uh, and if you're you're local, I can meet up with you. Again, I'm in South Florida, Miami, and I can give you these these plants. Again, more dragon fruit. This is a bell pepper. I did harvest a big one from here the other day. Um, not too much. Oh, look, we got some white fly. So I'm gonna have to spray this down with neem oil. Back here we have uh, some sad looking leaves and we have the banana pepper. These are sweet. I, don't, I really don't even like them because they're, they're not, they don't have any spicy to them. Uh, in the back here we got more bell peppers. Back there, got a banana. So as you can see, we got a couple of bananas here. Banana one, banana two, banana three, banana back there. I see something growing on back here. I think those are actually ground cherries. Um, so I, I don't, I didn't plant any seeds. I had ground cherries before and I guess it's growing back. And that one there kind of looks like a pepper, which is interesting. So I'm just gonna let that grow out, see what happens. This is an ahi cachucha. This was very, very big. I trimmed it back. It's gonna turn into a little bonchai like the other one over there. Um, it was actually falling over the side. So if you're gonna, grow big pepper plants in a flood and drain, uh, create some type of trellis out of wood. I think that'd be really cool to, to just manage a big old pepper plant in here with just a one gallon or two gallon grow bag. So I trimmed him back and it'll grow back the foliage pretty quick. You can still see I left some buds there. Again, more bananas. That back there is an occlusia, mostly used for hedges. I just have it there. Back here. Um, Again, more ahi cachucha. This is the other style, the pancake style. This is, uh, I believe, radish. Uh, it doesn't look too happy because I planted it wrong. This is a blackberry cutting that is starting to come in. Uh, don't know what that is, but I'll leave it there. I'm sure you can tell what this is. These are cucumbers. Good old cukes. So the foliage looks very, very nice on here. And I'm going to let them grow out. These are the same sad tomato plants they got to be like nine months old they're ready to go and there you can see you know what i'm going to pull it out oh my god 
that is my first ever cucumber. Look at that. I've never harvested a cucumber before, let alone a hydroponic one. I'm gonna take a bite. All right, that is cool. So I'm gonna eat it till about here. And then I think I'm just going to plant it back in, see what happens. Did I really just call this a cucumber? I meant carrot. Anyway, there you can see I ate it back. That is all that is left. Let's just put it right back where it came from and see what happens. We'll see you in a couple days. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for following. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. And I want to thank you guys for smashing that like button. Remember, any and all things that I use for my hydroponic systems will be available in the links below. They are Amazon links. They are affiliate links. So they do help out the channel and helps me uh, provide funding so I can keep doing these little experiments for you guys. If there's anything you guys want to see me grow, just leave a comment below and I'll try it. Cuttings, cloning, growing, just weird stuff. I got banana trees in here now. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Till next time, peace.